Hi there! My name is George and in this tutorial, we will learn how we can use Arduino Uno as HID to emulate keyboard. By the way, please click the like and subscribe button. Share this to your friends. By using our creative imagination, we can use this tutorial to many projects. To give you some idea, the very basic is of course to control your keyboard or you may create your own DIY keyboard. I know some would say that it is a lot cheaper to buy a new one, but no one could pay the happiness we get from tinkering. So what do you think? I would love to know your ideas. Please write it in the comment box. So how does the emulation works? Basically, our Arduino boards is pre-configured to function a serial device. So to emulate keyboard, we will reconfigure it as HID device or human interface device. So our computer will see it as keyboard. First, download all the necessary files. I will leave the links in the description of the video. We will upload the Arduino keyboard sketch for our testing. So I will leave also the links of this source code. Here, I also prepare our circuit. This circuit is uh, consists of four tactile switches, which are connected from A0, A1, A2, and A3. It is connected internally by internal pull-up of the Arduino Uno. And also, here, when we press the tactile switch, it will connect the specific pin to the ground. So, first, we upload the sketch. So, make sure that the serial debug is uh, commented or the actual HID application or human interface device. So, let's upload it. Make sure that the correct board is selected. In this tutorial, this is Arduino Uno. So, it's Genuino. And also, select the correct serial COM port. After that, hit the upload button. By the way, this step is necessary because you cannot easily upload any sketch after we configure the Arduino board as HID. Every time you need to upload a new sketch, you first need to reconfigure the Arduino board as serial device. Then configure as HID again to test the emulation. Now for the second step, which is configuring the Arduino Uno as HID or human interface device. There are actually two ways to do that. First is by using the in-circuit serial programmer or the ICSP, which is this port. And second is by using the microchip flip application. I choose the second option because it is easier. As you can see here in my desktop, our Arduino Uno is currently a serial port, which is assigned to COM7. This is necessary for uploading. As you can see, we need to choose the correct serial port here. So let's go back here. Next, we will put the Arduino board to DFU mode or device firmware update for us to update or upload a new firmware. This is done by shorting the two pins in the first column of the ICSP port. This is basically shorting the reset pin of the IC to the ground. So to do that, we need a jumper pin like this. Please observe that the serial port, currently the Arduino Uno is listed as serial port. After we put the jumper wire in the first column, Then, I will remove. You can observe that it becomes 80 mega 
16U2 under the live USB Win32 device. So that is, this chip is 80 Mega 16U2. In any case, that the Arduino board is listed with question mark, this, with question mark here, or X, just right click the 80 Mega, then select update driver. Then select the browse my computer for driver software. Then browse, select the local disk, program files, x86, then atmel, then flip, then under the USB folder. After you select the, you, after you click USB folder, click OK. Then make sure that the include subfolders checkbox is checked. Then click next. Then click close. Next, we will upload the firmware using the Flip application. So let's open the Flip application. This one. So, flip application. So, first, click the select a target device. So, for this, my Arduino Uno is having 80 Mega 16U2, which is I already select here. After that, select the communication medium. So, you, you, you will be able to select only the USB. Then, when I... Click the open, open button, you will observe that the RX and TX LED will indicate that it's sending and receiving uh, data. So I click open, currently now it's unlit. When I cl hit click open, the RX and TX pin will lit up. After that one, we will load the hex file under the file load hex file or control L then we will select the Arduino dash keyboard dash 0.3 hex this is to convert or to configure this IC as keyboard HID if you need to revert back to normal Arduino Uno you will need to select this uh, hex file. But for now, let's convert this to keyboard HID. After that one, click run button. And by the way, you can read after you load the file, load the hex, you can read that hex file parse. Because if not, Maybe your hex file during download is having error. Also here, make sure that Arduino keyboard is selected. After that, click run button. Erasing, then verify pass. After that one, you can click the start application. Currently, USB on. So... When I hit the start application, it will upload the firmware. Then it will reset the uh, 80 mega chip. Communication off. And here currently it's 80 mega 16U2. So we need to remove the power from Arduino Uno. I will remove. Then return. As you can see, now I don't. I think it become under the U, human interface device, or maybe in the keyboard here. So let's open a notepad. So notepad. Then let's test. This is W. This is A. This is S and this is D. When I press this one, 
will send a W character. This is A, this is S, and this is D. As you can see, it's working. You can modify this one to suit your application. Anytime you need to revert back to your Arduino board to normal operation, a serial device, just put it to DFU mode and update it with the original firmware. So that's it. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!